Right, so what what was going on with the children of Israel in Egypt? You any y'all familiar with the Bible and what the, what happened to the Israelites? Why Moses had to go in there and say, let my people go? What was going on with them? There was what? They were slaves. So now Moses is speaking about one of the curses that was gonna come upon the Israelites. How did our people get into this land? When we was brought here, how? How? By boats. Watch this, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get over here, brother? Ships. This was a prophecy that was spoken by Moses that our people will go into slavery again on ships. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. Read on. By the way thereof which I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there, once we get off the slave ships, ye shall be sold. We shall be what? Ye shall be sold. Did they not sell us when we got here? Look at the front of the flight. It says ye shall be sold unto who? Unto your enemy. You know what the Bible says, sis? God says that when we get off the slave ships, we will be sold unto our enemies. What race of people sold us? Bring it out. The white man sold us. What did God call them? No, 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 no. What did God just call the people that sold us into slavery? Read that part again so you can catch it. And ye shall be sold unto your enemy. So the people that sold us is what? Would a friend sell you into slavery? Definitely not, right? Bring you over here, rape your women, rape your men, take your children, give me verse 32, and sell them to another nation. Would, you, would a friend do that to you? Would a, would a friend put drugs in your neighborhood? Guns in your neighborhood? Bring it out. Who putting these things in our community? The white man. He's still the enemy according to his body. Read that. Watch this. Another curse. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it out. We're not racist. We just reading what the Bible says. God said that they're our enemy. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did this not happen to us as a people? Was not our sons and daughters taken from us and given to another people? Yes. They were taken from us and sold to Master Charles in Virginia, yes. and you never seen them again. No. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. So all we did when they took our children was cry. Cry, 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 and we had no power to get them back. True or false? That's true. So, brother, did you know that this thing was written in the Bible? No. Did you be honest? Not to this extent, but did you grow up in church? You grew up in church, but they never taught you these things. Why? Because they're not teaching the truth, brother. You must know who you are in order to make you trying to make it to the kingdom of heaven, right? Watch this. Give me Revelation 21 real quick. What? How many gates is there in the kingdom of heaven? Gates is there in the kingdom of heaven. Is it one? Was it two? How many is it? No, I'm sure. How many is it? One? Is it two? One gate, right? So that's what you was taught at church. Today, we're going to be taught the truth. That's right. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. And had, a great, and had a wall great and high. So we're speaking about the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is going to have a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. How many gates in the kingdom of heaven? And had 12 gates. And had 12 gates. Right. Hold this and give me Matthew chapter 24, and I want verse 5. Matthew 24 verse 5 You've been lied to all your life Just like all of us been lied to all our life But the Lord has woke us up And brought us to understand it Now it's time to bring you to understand it And save your soul from death Matthew chapter 24 and verse 5 How many shall come in my name Saying I am Christ Jump down to verse 20, 24 Verse 24 For there shall arise false Christ There shall arise false Christ Where that image at? The image of the beast, is it on that side? So what color is Christ? They say white. So now the now we're living in these prophecies right now. This is Jesus Christ speaking. He says they're going to arise false Christ, which is that image right there. But when you read in the Bible, it says Christ had dark skin with woolly hair. Right? Read. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. And what? 
then false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. So the Bible says that they're going to arise false Christ and false prophets, meaning there's going to be false teachers teaching you the wrong thing. Are you still in church, brother? You got to come up out that thing right there. They never taught you this? That, let me show you what we, I want to show you if they read this scripture to you because we're trying to save your soul. Give me our uh, second Peter's real quick, chapter 3. We're the Israelites, brother. We're not black. We're not niggas. We're not Negroes. What they called us when we came over here. We are the Israelites. Let me ask you a question. Is it possible you can change someone's nationality? You can. So when we first came over here, what did they call us? Colored? Negroes? In the 70s, when we started wearing Afros, they called us Afro-Americans. Now they say we black, and they say we African-American. But I'm going to ask you a question. Which one are we? Which one are we? I'm going to ask you, sis, which one are we? Now you got to understand, you cannot change someone's nationality. We're all the same people. You understand what I'm saying? You are what your ancestors are. So how can they bring us here, and when we first come here, they say we're colored. Then they say, no, 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 you're not colored. You're Negroes. No, 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 you're not Negroes. You're Afro-Americans. No, you know what? Let's not call you Afro-Americans. Let's call you black. The crayon box. No, you're not black. You're African-American. Brother, we've been lied to. We have been deceived. Christ said, be not deceived. Read. The book of the book of first Peter, second Peter, chapter three, verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slack. The promise that God gave, that God gave to us, that one destruction is coming to America. That's one of the promises. And during that destruction, he's gonna deliver one third of his people out of this land. We was only reason we was brought here and made slaves is because we broke God commandments. That's right. That's the only reason. Right. Read. But is long suffering to usward, not willing that any shall perish. So the Lord don't want none of us to die. He wants us all to come to repentance, right? But that all should come to repentance. But if the day of the Lord will come as a thief, in he said, "Now he don't want none of us to re he don't want none of us to die, but he want all of us to repent." And he come back and says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief." In the night. So if Jesus Christ coming back to save everyone, why is why is in the Bible and Peter's they're saying that Christ is coming back like a thief in the night? Why do a thief come at night? So you want what? So you want what? Just when he comes at night, so you want what? So you won't see him. It says when Christ returns, he's coming back like a thief in the night. No one is gonna know when he's coming because he's gonna catch you on fire. In the witch. Person. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. You know, what that you know what that means? It says, in the which the heavens, talking about the kingdoms on this earth, is going to pass away with a great noise. What can make a great noise? What do you think that's going to be? Boom! Nuclear missiles is coming to America. That's right side of the Bible. I'm going to read it to you. Read and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. It says, and the elements, meaning everything you see, is going to melt with fervent heat. Fire. Fire. Hold on, let me finish this real quick, and I want to show you one more thing. Read. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So everything is going to be burned up. So you must be sealed before Christ returns. You got to know who you are, brother. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Let me get you a commandment. Give me uh, numbers real quick. One, one commandment. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
me get you more from that. The, the book of Galvis, chapter 15 and verse 38. That's right. So you believe in tattoos? No, no, it's about the mark of the beast. I'm talking about, is it right for us to get tattoos? Okay, you mean Leviticus 19 and 20. I'm going to get this book no. and I'm going to let you go. Now it's up to you to repent, brother. It's up to you to come back to God's command. Is you. And finally, my brothers, be strong enough.